Have you ever tried doing ASMR, Brendan? No, I have no interest in it. Even if I could do it and make a billion dollar doing it, I have zero interest in it whatsoever. I feel nothing watching ASMR videos, and because I don't get it, I'm not interested in it. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Today, we're going to be fighting... Uh, today, we're going to be fighting this guy. Looking like a little John Wick out here. Uh, maybe not John Wick per se, but he is grappling over here over towards the balloons. And uh, the big thing about this that you don't understand is that once I get him and grab him, I'm going to shatter every bone in his body. I'm going to be ripping the wet meat right from his fucking carcass, babe. Putting that shit in the crock pot, making me some boy stew. Oh, he's trying to bloat me up a little bit here. He's doing big bomb. That's John Wick and I'm scared. I'm laying luxuriously on the lake, having myself a wonderful stench, looking for some fish to catch. Oh, oh, look. A delightful bass has appeared in my lake. Oh, what a wonderful time. This bass is so nice, so juicy. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a good bass. Oh, fuck yeah. I love eating the fish right out the river, babe. I don't care if the river is contaminated from the local sewage system. That's not going to freak me out or anything. I love eating that stinky fish right out the river, dude. Oh, fuck yeah. Just a... Oh, fuck. I love taking the bones right off the fish, sucking the meat right off the fish right away, dude. Just hitting it like that. Just squidding it like that, babe. Just fucking locking it down, dude. I love ordering Kentucky Fried Chicken. Man, it's my favorite thing, but I don't eat any of the meat off the bone. I just take the meat off the bone, put that shit in a food processor, right? Throw that shit into a food processor, and then I take all the bones, and I love to just eat and crack and crunch the bones individually, sucking the bone marrow out of the bones. The meat, I make a little slurry out of the meat. Yeah, I put it in the fridge. Then I put it in the freezer in the shape of a popsicle. I'm making chicken popsicles. Would you like one? It's so fucking yumpy, so fucking delicious. Hot Dr. Pepper, the famous 23 flavor soda, has lots of spin off products, such as Diet Dr. Pepper. But that's not the topic of the video here today. No, we're not talking about Diet Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce, but what we are talking about is Hot Dr. Pepper. Hot Dr. Pepper was introduced in the 1950s originally as a winter beverage. You still don't believe me? You think this is a joke? Just check out the facts and articles part of the Dr. Pepper website. And if you're using a glass, 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 made of glass like I am, follow and like, because you know when glass melts, glass. Starting a new side channel just for Brent Daniel ASMR. Hey everybody, do you like sandwiches? Because I'm a big sandwich head over here. Thinking about putting a little tomato on that sandwich, putting a little pepper on that sandwich, putting a little meat on that sandwich. Do I go salami, beef, chicken, jerk chicken, capicola? What am I thinking here? What kind of beef should I put on this burger, this bird, this large sandwich? A luxuriously large sandwich for a beefy boy like me. I deserve a big sandwich with a couple of pieces of bread, a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of pickle, a little bit of relish, a little bit of mayo, mayonnaise even maybe, maybe even Miracle Whip if I want that tang. If I'm thinking about it, maybe I can have a little bit of tang as a bit of a treat. Oh, but I go into the subway and I get a tuna fish sandwich. I ask for a tuna fish sandwich on Italian herbs and cheese. And I say to the person working at the subway, I'd love a sandwich on Italian herbs and cheese, a tuna fish sandwich, a little bit of mayo and some green peppers, 12 inch foot long tuna fish sandwich on Italian herbs and cheese. And then they deliver it to me. They ask me, would you like this sandwich? Sandwich toasted, sir? And I say, yeah, I'd like that sandwich toasted for sure. A hundred percent of the time I get my sandwiches toasted when I'm getting a big sandwich from the subway. Oh, big sandwich from me? Thank you so much. And then I get a big bag of chips from the subway as well. Make that shit a meal deal. I don't get a chocolate chip cookie or a macadamia nut cookie. No, no, no. I get a subway sandwich and a bag of chips and a medium drink. Maybe a Dr. Pepper or a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi, depending on what they're serving at that subway. Then I eat the sandwich. Two bites. It's gone. It's that easy. Brandon, when are we getting the mukbang channel? I don't know if you can do that to a Pokemon, dude. I'm sorry. 